My daddy was quite a character. He loved to make people laugh. He felt like it was his calling. According to Aunt Beat, daddy was a born prankster. Growing up, my sister Carol and I had an imaginary friend, little Elmo. We had the most fun pretending that little Elmo was real. Daddy joined right in with us. For every meal, we set an extra place at the table for little Elmo. And every Sunday morning on our way home from church, Daddy would pull over, open the car door, and say, Come on, little Elmo, it's time to go home now. And if anything couldn't be found at home, Daddy would just chuckle and say, It must be little Elmo that's taken it. Eventually, Carol and I left little Elmo behind, but not forgotten. Many years later, when Daddy had his heart surgery, Carol and I got him a balloon with a face on it and accordion arms and legs. We told Daddy it was little Elmo. We all laughed as we remembered our little friend. And then there was the time Daddy's friend, Henry, had mentioned to him that he had never gotten a little red wagon for Christmas. That gave Daddy an idea. He went down into our basement, cut out a large or large pieces of cardboard and painted brick on them. And then he folded it and stood it up in the back of his old pickup truck. He dressed as Santa and stood in the chimney as our neighbor Charlie drove. On their way to Henry's, he waved at everybody he saw. When they arrived at Henry's, Daddy stepped out of the chimney and presented Henry with a little red wagon. <laughs> Charlie said that Henry grinned from ear to ear and was at a loss for words. Daddy showed me that you don't have to be rich and famous by the world's standards. You can be rich in love and joy that you share with other people.